She's all alone, Penny. My little girl is all alone. I barely even had time to teach her the 64 best ways to fall. And now she's lost to me forever. There, there now, Ozzy. We'll get her back home safe and sound. Yeah, I promise. And I've never lost a keeper yet. Wow, I never thought I'd say this offline. But we've almost filled the whole log! <sighs> I have no appetite for food while Heather's in trouble. No appetite's what the enemy wants. Use your hunger. Make it your determination. Now, let's march. Well, all, the stakes have never been higher. Mmm, steak. We're looking for Gladys's PDA, which is a human gadget that holds addresses they never visit and phone numbers they never call. So far ahead of us in so many ways. Gladys's new house is in the new part of the suburbs, so we're going through some construction. Hooray, dirt! Uh, right, dirt. Lots of dirt, hamster. And if you're a good squirrel, maybe even some rust. Now, here's the thing. We have to go through these two yards, then through this house and up to the scaffolding. I'm no skunk Floyd Wright. But that don't exactly look at all safe. It can hold three or four good-sized human men, so you should be fine. Vern, on the other hand... Hey, enough with the fat jokes. I can't help it if my shell is heavy, and, and technically, it's muscle. Right, that's all shell. Whatever you say, buddy. Anywho, we'll drop right down into Gladys's yard, pop in through the back door, and hope I figure out what happens next before then. The perfect plan to fill the perfect log. So easy, even Hammy could do it. Huh? Let's go! So let me get this straight. Humans dig out the old stream, then dig a new hole for new streams. Duh. Then they cut down the trees and pull up the grass and dirt so they can put the dirt back in? Then they have their teeth pulled out and have new false ones hammered in? Which puts them higher on the food chain because... How come we don't do that? Huh, weird.
hurry, inside. The whole place is crawling with gophers. In fact, crawling's putting a bright face on it. Now upstairs and out the window. The roofs are probably our best and most scenic bed at this point. See the whole world from up here. See, I told you it was flat. Just don't look down. I mean, fall. You can look down all you want.
Kites are nothing to a squirrel. That's how nearsighted we are. It's awesome. We gave the place there a real once over earlier, and I'd say it looks pretty safe down there. Borderline real good then. You clear our visit with that nice lady who always tries to electrocute us? Oh, her. She's out in front. We should be all right in the backyard. It's a whole few feet away in plain view then. I shouldn't have asked for anything more. Huh. Anybody ever seen one of those before? Oh, he just wants a friend. We can use those conveniently placed propane tanks to give this thing a permanent hot foot. My dead metal friend, forgive me for you losing. If it helps, Heather, it was all worth it. Where to next? Let's hit the front yard instead. See what attacks us there. Sounds like a plan. Let's take the realtor by the horns. Team Hedge in position. What you got for us, Oz? Good news, everyone. Lou managed to get a peek inside the van. The device is on the seat. The key for the back of the truck is by the door. Get the key, get into the truck, get to the cab, get out. You might want to alphabetize those tasks to better keep them straight. Roger that. Don't worry, Oz. We'll have Heather back before you know it. I promise.
do you say? Jeez, look at all this stuff. You think she just lost her home or something? What a pack rat! Maybe there's a way out past all this. Hmm. Hey, looks like we got ourselves a tour guide to help show us the way. Hail and well met, menacing scavenger! I love them. 